All right, we're doing a reshoot because my phone overheated and shut off. If you got any kind of drone, specifically DJI brand drones, you're trying to fly for work, whatever the case may be, first off, disclaimer, make sure you're legal. I have my little sticker on top with all my license information. I do not condone flying illegally, so if you're flying for monetization, for money, for branding, it, do it doesn't have to be a financial transaction. If you're flying to social media or anything like that, website, branding of a business, you need a license, commercial license. So look it up. The video's not about that. I do have my part 107. It's all on there. Also remote ID and everything. All right, so basically the problem we got going on. The drone will not launch due to the fact, uh, let me go back here real quick and show you what's going on here on the controller. All right, so on the drone controller, we're connected. It's a live video feed right there. It says authorization zone. So basically we're in an area, it's not restricted. It's just an authorization required. So DJI software has geofencing and areas and boundaries you cannot fly. Even if you're legal to fly there with the right licensing, it still does not allow and you need to deactivate that. So basically what we got here is we're in an area near Grissom Air Force Base. And Grissom Air Force Base is not the issue. That's this uh, darker zone with this little light yellowy orange around there. It's this blue zone, which is classified as Robinson. There's a private strip there just over the hill back here and that's why it will not let me fly. No matter what I do, I cannot fly. Authorization required. So what you're gonna need is a hotspot from a phone or do this before you leave. I will probably blur out part of this real quick. Let me go change this computer screen here. I do need to try to go fast because my phone overheated and it messed up. So just Google search uh, DJI safe, fly safe. It'll pop up this website, click unlock zone. It's gonna bring you to a new web page, which I already have up. Let me pan off real quick. Boop, because there is personal information I do not want shown here. So there's gonna be a area here where you click unlock request, right up at the top here. New unlock request, let me pan away. Sorry guys, I just don't want my personal cell phone number, email address, uh, and everything shown. It's gonna ask you to confirm, click confirm. Click new zone, confirm. It's gonna show my personal information, blurring it out real quick. So it's gonna want to know a device. You're gonna have to select your device. So if you don't have a DJI, uh, uh, DJI um, account, you're gonna have to set it. So right now I'm just clicking on personal information I don't want shown on the YouTube channel. My remote ID stuff, pilot, me, good, next. Okay, so basically it's gonna pop up with this. I don't know why it shows me always out on the East Coast. Just kind of pan out, bring it up into my area near Grissom Air Force Base. And there's the Robinson area. So I'm gonna click on that. It's gonna allow, see Robinson right there? Okay, and I'm gonna pan away real quick. Actually, you're gonna need to select the date, which right now is the 4th of January, 2024. The effective period is from zero time of the start date to 23. 59 so basically in military hours at the end of the day today um, possibly up to the sixth reason I'm gonna just type in real quick all right I just typed in need pictures of roof click submit and make sure it doesn't show anything personal here okay submission successful pan down and now it's showing all my personal stuff which I don't want seen and it says accepted now the problem becomes this not connected to the internet or this not being signed in. So first off, you're gonna to need to, if you're in this view here, where you're connected, where it typically boots up to, click the little back arrow. By the way, like I said, I don't know if I believe I said, you need to have a hotspot turned on or do this before you get out in the field. Click on profile, pan down real quick. It's gonna show information here. Make sure you're signed in, which it is signed in. So click back. Now the issue becomes it does not have a network connection. So you're gonna swipe down with two fingers, just like you would use on a um, Android device. Click on your settings right there and pan it down just for a minute. Okay, I can show this. So click on Wi-Fi mobile data usage, click on turn on. It's kind of a hidden thing here. I had so much trouble in the past struggling with this. It took me a while to find it. GRS is just basically my phone hotspot. So now I have internet connection on here. Click back on this, click on go fly. There's two ways you can do this. And here's probably an easier one. Click the three dots up there. You're gonna scroll down to uh, unlock a geo zone. Now you're gonna refresh the list. Refresh, unlock, fail. Okay, aircraft unlock. That's basically one I did, but that is one I did back last year. So refresh the list, turn on. I agree. I don't know. It's probably not going to recognize it. I wonder if I'm not signed in. Account not logged in. Okay, so this is the other issue I had here. Go back, back, 
go to profile pan down real quick i'm gonna have to oh, see right here not logged in this is the second issue you could possibly have click log in all right now i need to i'm gonna pause the video put my personal information in and i'll let you know all right and we are back uh you can see i've got it signed in so basically you're going to need to put in your email account that the dji account is set up on then it'll ask you a second prompt for your password you do that you're signed in so i believe now that the controller is signed in using my hotspot click back now we can click go fly you can also hit the profile it showed there and get into it but this way again most people are into three dots scroll down under the safety area click unlock geo zone here we go import to aircraft is this ooh, personal information there i don't want seen actually it's the serial number so it should probably be fine but it may show up stuff i don't want seen unlock request import to aircraft license aircraft imported successfully all those are good and valid go back okay and there it is takeoff is now permitted so we should be able to fly this here just to be sure let's uh no cars coming behind because i'm just pulled off on the side of the road we're gonna hit uh take off permitted actually wrong button it's this little guy right here one last check nobody there i have already done pre-flight followed all the regulations and everything we're gonna whoop, launch this up take off. and we are going all right so make sure we don't get hit by a car here all right, just a fly off the cuff uh, video here, unscripted, unedited. Sorry for the pausing, sorry for moving the camera over. I do want to protect some of my personal information, my personal email, personal account, password, things like that. So again, if you have trouble logging in with your controller, getting uh, access to a restricted zone or a geofence blocked area, that's how you need to do it. Before you get without an air connection, use it at home or need a Wi-Fi spot some hotspots, some Wi-Fi network to connect. Go to your web page, enter, find the restricted area, the geofencing, then go to the controller, have to be signed in to your DJI account. You also have to have a network connection and then import it and it should lift the uh, restriction there. So Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, automatically disabled. Okay, it's just uh All right, so I gotta get some uh, aerial photography of the property here for another company I work with. It's kind of a uh, something I'm doing to help them out. But again, it does require a class three license, especially because I'm making this video for a monetized YouTube channel. So don't think because you're not collecting money for a particular service, the FA reads that if you are using it for financial gain, branding, monetization, personally getting paid for it, any of that, you need a commercial license. So go out and look at that. Uh, if you guys have any interest of that, let me know. It's been four years ago or so, I think I did mine. It wasn't too hard for me because I'm a private pilot from years back, but I will tell you, if you've not done any kind of aviation type stuff, it is a little, uh, little, I mean, it's a bit of a test. There's a fee you gotta pay. Whether you fail or pass, doesn't matter, you pay the fee. So look up part 107 for your commercial license, drone operator. My phone's getting hot, it's about to shut off again, so let's wrap this one up. Uh, guys, I appreciate it. If you could give it a thumbs up, it really does mean a lot. Smash the, uh, the thumbs up button I'm losing my mind here my train of thought because my phone is starting to get jittery here uh, subscribe if you haven't let me know if you have any trouble and i'll do my best to answer in the comment section until next time be safe we'll see you then